friends, it's Gwen. I'm back with another book haul for you. And this book haul is the Baltimore Book Festival haul and a couple of books while I got while I was visiting Baltimore and a couple for my mom because, you know. But anyway, um, this is the second haul for September and then I will have one more haul in September, which will be in a couple days, but it's gonna be my library book haul. So that's a completely free and half of the books that I got here are free. I will explain as I go along, but let's go ahead and jump right in. So the first thing that I got is this first chapter of Daisy by Matthew William Jones. He was giving away the first chapter of his book for free and it's just bound and it's just typed and it's got a lot of spaces. So it's nothing major, um, but he was kind enough to sign it for me. And it just says, Gwen, thank you for stopping by and I promise I will join Twitter. Never forget to stop and smell the daisies. And he signed it, Matt Jones. And of course his signature says Matthew Jones. But I thought this cover of just this little printout was like really cool. So I hope that's kind of what the cover is gonna look like. He did tell me that this is going to be a trilogy and that he is open to the idea of novella for his trilogy as well. And it's about an alien kind of invasion abduction he wasn't really giving me too much information but there's a boy out on a farm or something and a star hits and there's aliens so I was like for free and it sounds pretty cool why not and he said this is geared towards young adults Friday I stopped by um, this and I got to talk to the author um, Rachel Rawlings and I I asked her about her book I said because she had like several up there and I asked her I said well you know what is your what are your books about, um, who's, you know, the characters, and, you know, we just kind of got to talking, and she was saying that um, Maureen Kincaid, she can, it says, um, it's, it's perfectly written on Goodreads, but she said that she doesn't live in the present, she kind of lives in the past because she can link to events that happened in the past by fingerprints or something like that and there's vampires and all of that so it's kind of paranormal thriller suspense like all of those fun things fantasy and I was like, okay, that sounds interesting enough. I'll go ahead and get this first book and see if I like it. The cool thing about this is this is probably not the cover that you will find in bookstores. So I was like, let me get up on that. Now the covers, I love these covers. They're all like um, designs. There's no people on them. But the covers that you'll find in bookstores, the first one in the uh, Maureen Kincaid series, but they have people on the cover. And I do love the font of those books. But there's people on the cover. And we all know how we feel about people on the cover so but anyway I'm glad I got him in the in this like design and I mean how cool is it she loves skulls she had like on a skull scarf and like a black dress and like she was just a totally cool person um, I'll insert a picture of me meeting her and my sorority sisters in the picture too but it was just a really awesome experience and then the bonus of course was that she got to personalize it for me and it says Gwen witches rule demons rule and then of course she signed it it's pretty chunky but but it is written in typewriter font, so it will probably read a lot quicker than it seems like it is going to. The next day that I went on Saturday, my mom was kind enough to give me and um, enough money for my sorority sister. She gave us money for both of us to pick up the rest of the books that Rachel had there. Um, so I picked up Witch Hunt. And of course she put the sticker on for me and signed it, which is Royal Demon's Royal, but she did this one in gold and it kind of stands out a little bit more. So I like that. That's the second one. The third one is Wolfsbane. It's just this tiny like little bit, it's like a novella. Um, Welcome to the Pack by Rachel Rawlings. And again, I'm loving these covers. And then the fourth book, Bloodbath, she also signed. And this one has a face, but it's kind of like, I just like it. And this is her on the back right here. This is the author that I met. Um, but again, she just signed it inside. So I was really happy to be able to pick up the first four books in this series. And again, I have like the covers that aren't weren't redesigned. So these were like the original covers. And I'm not sure if all of them are typewriter font. No, this one is a little bit different. And the second are in the typewriter font. And then these two are in this font much you know but I was super happy to meet her she's super nice and super cool and I let her know that I had a booktube channel and a website and 
um, Twitter, Instagram, all of that stuff, and she's following me on Twitter now, so, um, anyway, yeah, this was, it was really cool to meet her, and the cool thing was, is I actually met her on Friday, when I got her first book in the series, and then I found out that my mom, through a friend, knows her, kind of, well, like, her, my mom's friend knows her, and I guess in the next book, and her book coming out in October, this month, um, she has a bar, she, there's a bar featured in the book that is, like, my mom's friend's husband's bar. I don't know. Does that make sense? Is that relevant? I don't know. But anyway, I, it was super great to meet her, and then it was like we kind of had a connection. So I thought that was pretty cool. But yeah, so I'll check these out, and I will be reviewing these for sure when I'm able to get to them. The next thing that I picked up is the Townsend University Literary Magazine. They were giving these away for free. So they entitled it Grub Street, Townsend University. It's volume 67, issue 1, and it is just a literary, you know, it's their school's literary magazine. So I figured why not? It's short little stories, so I like that. I picked up, they had a section that was, I guess it was a um, library or something like that. They had a little booth and it was all books, $4. Who could pass up that deal? Hard covers, soft covers, old, you know, books laying around. So I got Haunted by Chuck Palahniuk. This is um, the book that is like cover glow. A novel made up of 23 horrifying, hilarious, and stomach churning stories. They're told by people who have answered an ad for a writer's retreat and unwittingly joined a survivor like scenario where the host withholds heat, power, and food. As the storytellers grow more desperate, their tales become more extreme, and they ruthlessly plot to make themselves the hero of the reality show that will surely be made from their plight. This is one of the most disturbing and outrageous books you'll ever read. One that could only come in the mind of Chuck Palahniuk. So I'm really excited about this, and the cover's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I figured this would be nice to read in October, so perfect timing. It's the expected one by Kathleen McGowan, and I'm not sure what it's about. I got it for free. I'm not interested in reading this. I'll actually just put it up on my paperback swap site, but I'm going to go ahead and see if I am interested in this first before I do that. But I got this one. Then, um, in that same $4 bin... I was telling my sorority sister, she said, any book in particular that you're looking for? And I was like, well, I mean, we're not going to find it, but it would be really cool. I am looking for The Bell Jar by Sylvia Platt. I am looking for the fourth Harry Potter book, Goblet of Fire. I am looking, so I was like naming off a couple, but the one that I really, really, really wanted, of course, is Harry Potter because I'm not trying to spend full you know, full price for those $25 to $30. And lo and behold, my sister's like, is this the one you need? And I'm like, are you serious right now? So I have the entire Harry Potter series now. This is the only one that I was missing. So hallelujah. Um, it's not in as perfect condition as some of my other ones are, but the dust jacket's here. It's not ripped or torn. It is a little bit here and here, but I mean, I'd probably do worse than that reading it. And none of the pages are marked on or bent. You know, it's in it's in really good good condition. It has a little scuff right here, but you can barely even see that. But yeah, so I got this. I can't believe it. I have the whole Harry Potter series in hardcover, same you know, same cover edition. It's a miracle. Um, and I think I only bought one for full price. So that's pretty amazing. Arc that I got for getting the Rachel Rawlings books. This is Omega by Lizzie Ford. And it says, in a modern world ruled by territorial Greek gods, the human race has been oppressed, exploited, and now nearly destroyed by the constant infighting of gods. So, I don't know. I don't know what it's going to be about, but free arc, hey. Then on the second day, well, the first day we actually went to this booth and it was just kind of like a more of a donation type booth. And I will insert a clip in just a minute, but it's, you donate a dollar and then you could pick any mystery book off of this table. And they had them divided, you know, children's, adult, YA, you know, all of that. They had them divided, fiction, nonfiction, whatever. Um, and when I went, Obviously, I wanted young adults, so 
I said, oh, I want young adult, and they didn't have any, and they said, well, if you come back tomorrow, um, we'll have more young adult, and I was like, okay, sounds good, so I waited, I didn't get anything, and I went back on Saturday, and they did have young adult, they had a big, huge stack, and they had a really thick one, I should have just got the really thick one, but I had a feeling it was going to be a Harry Potter, and I was like, I have all the Harry Potters now, I mean, I should have gone for it, and it could have not been a Harry Potter, but I was like, you know, I want to just take my chances and maybe get something I don't have. So I picked two, and I will insert a clip now of me unboxing them, unwrapping them. Yeah, it takes it. So I got two, two young adults. Yeah. First mystery book. I hate mysteries. <laughs> okay. I got Royal Diaries, Princess of Princesses, India, 1627. This seems like middle grade, not young adults, but. Maybe they don't know how to classify books. Okay, next one. <laughs> Maybe it's a little better. Okay. <laughs> saw from that clip I ended up getting um, Trixie whatever Trixie Belden the number 10 the marshland mystery and to me this is more of a um, middle grade book so I'm gonna be putting this on my paperback swap and as well I got this one the Royal Diaries Janahara the princess of princesses India 1627 and this feels more middle grade to me as well, so I will be putting that on my paperback swap as well. So if you're interested in these or you know someone who is, just, di just direct them to my paperback swap site. And my mother gave me a couple of books. So those are all the books that I actually got at the book festival. So really not that many. Some were free, some were really cheap, and some I actually like paid full price, but the author signed them, so... Thank you, Rachel. Um, okay, so my grandmother, who is no longer with us, Marie Bailey, she did this little illustrated book. She was an artist, so she wrote this little book right here, and it's called Kitty Has a Dream by Marie Bailey, and it has a little cat, and it's a Bailey Mark book, and it's just like this paper, um, but, you know, she actually had them, like, done, and it's just these, it's really cool. It's just like a little story about this cat and it has her illustrations in it, which you can't see because they're really thin. But I just, I really have been wanting one of these forever and I finally got one. So it's like the cutest thing ever. And because she's no longer with us and there is an ambulance. And just because she's no longer with us, it's just great to have this. I feel like closer to my grandmother kind of historical books and it's Shadow Patriots by Lucy St. Clair Robson. It's this one, the cover of the dust jacket is torn. Uh, Mom, the dust jacket's torn. Um, anyway, um, she gave me this one and she said that if I like this one, um, she has some other books by her. Um, but yeah, she wanted me to go ahead and check it out. A funny story, when I lived with them still before I moved here, back in 2008, October something 2008, I think it's October 4th. 2008 we'll see in a minute um we went to the renaissance festival and oh my gosh it was so much fun but it was me my mom and my dad and we went to the renaissance festival and they had authors there and one of the authors signed the book and i totally forgot that and um but anyway my mom was like oh yeah i remember we met this author and she signed this book for your dad and i was like really oh yeah so it is a mistress of the vatican the true story of olympia whatever the secret female pope by Eleanor Herman and maybe you've heard of Eleanor Herman she's like the history buff that wrote Legacy of Kings or Legacy of Kings just came out and it's going to be a whole series trilogy thing um so yeah this was back from yeah October 4th 2008 she wrote to Carl I hope you enjoy um Eleanor Herman October 4th 2008 that yeah, came out in 2008 so this was like her new release 
when we met her and now she's on the legacy of kings so i think that's pretty cool that i did actually meet her but that was like back in a time when i wasn't really reading as much and i didn't know i'm not really a huge history person like i like learning about history and going to historical places but i don't really like reading about it but we'll see i'm gonna give it a try and because i know who she is like i'm gonna really try and the next stack of books that i have to show you were all 100 percent free i got them at a bookstore in downtown baltimore it's not in the best section of town but it's the most awesome bookstore ever and it's called a book thing or just book thing and they have a facebook page which i will try to link down below they have a twitter and all of that if i remember i will link it down below but all of these books are free and of course my sis my sorority sister went on this trip with me and she had never been obviously and she says she had like two huge boxes like printer boxes of like encyclopedias i think she walked out of there with 39 encyclopedias about world war ii because that's like her thing and it's just she was like okay so what do i do and i was like you pick up the boxes and you go take them out to the car it's just it's so funny because you think like really like these are really free like you don't i mean they're free free and yes they are 100% free all they ask you to do is as you're going out to like count how many books you're taking and write your name and you're not and how many you're taking and that's just so they know like you know is this for a company is this for yourself like what they would just kind of want to track like how many books you're taking and you know things like that trust me it's no big deal you could walk out with one zero fifty a thousand let's just say she took 50 books because yeah she had a stack so she took 50 and I took And I took 11. So we took 60 books out of that store. And in fact, the owner approached my sorority sister and said, hey, are you looking for anything in particular? She's like, anything World War II? Anything. If you want World War II, then come over here. And he's showing her these encyclopedias. And she's like, seriously, should I get both? And I'm like, if you have room at your house. So she took the two huge boxes and they were so heavy, but thank God she took them out because my back would have been breaking. But she got those out to um, my car and loaded them up and she was really happy about that. She got a couple of books for her mom about bartending and quizzes and stuff like that. She got a couple of books to read and she got a book about Australia because she actually went to Australia before. And I'm not sure what else she got, but let me show you the books that I got for 100% free um i got the little prince and we actually do me and my husband do have copies of this book well he has two copies of this book on his bookshelf he has the english version and the french version and but they're like really beat up because it was back when he was in either high school or college whenever he learned french and they're really beat up and I, this is still it's a little beat up but um, this is like the original thing and yeah, I mean, it's a way better condition than his is. So I got that for completely, and I've never read this. So I got this for completely free. Can you believe that the original price was $4.95? Oh my gosh, they're going to start mowing. Sorry about the mowers. Let's do this. I got The Giver by Lewis Lowry. I've been wanting to read this. I almost bought it at like the $4 thing, but I'm glad I waited because I got it for free. It is the John Newberry um, medal, you know, winner. Um, yeah, I haven't read this yet, but I have it now so I can and it was free picked up the secret life of bees Which I believe I've seen parts of the movie, but now I have the book and yes I would love to read it. I picked up the kite runner Which I actually have and I think I unhauled it or something or maybe I have even I might even still have my copy of this I'm not even sure but anyway, this is the book that I read for my English my fresh my when I was in um, University of Tampa. Um, I read this for my freshman year English class and I I think I stopped like maybe this much towards the end and because I had to withdraw long story but anyway yeah I pretty much read this book and I figure at one point or another I should go back and completely reread it. We're getting closer with the mowers I'm sorry. The next one is um, Just Listen by Sarah Dessen. I haven't read any of her books and I figured this one was free so why not give it a try. Remember like just the other day or when am I talking about yeah I've already talked about it it was banned books and I was talking to you about my Go Ask Alice. I found the original cover. Oh my God. I just, I had to have it. I just had to have it because this is the copy that I read over and over and over again. And this one was um, published in 1971. 
So I was super happy that I got this edition because this is the one that I remember. Um, I also picked up the Nanny Diaries. This is one that I see in thrift stores a lot and I almost buy it every single time but they want like two or three dollars for it. And I have already read this book but this is one of those books that I read that kind of inspired me to be a nanny and I did actually nanny for two different families you know a while ago um, but this was just really interesting and I figured why not have it on my shelf. All this Aquarius Revisited and it's Seven who created the 60s counterculture that changed America and it just has you know the people but I'm an Aquarius and so I was like Aquarius Aquarius okay. My last two books that I got, I got Post Secret. Remember when this was really popular? I never did get this one I believe. Um, but it was completely free and if you haven't seen these books it's easier for me to show you without the dust jacket well this is what the dust jacket looks like it looks like you know post but um, it's where people mail in their secrets and then they actually get published it's hard let's see so. boobies but yeah it's just kind of like a fun book last but not least I picked up a cookbook the elements of taste it's not a particularly vegetarian or vegan cookbook but it was in great condition and the pictures were very striking this one But I figured why not? It was free and so always loving some recipe books. So I'm adding this one to my collection. But those are all of the books that I got while I was in Baltimore. I know it was quite a bit. I hope you've enjoyed this haul. Like I said, 90% of them were free, or at least I feel like at least 80% of them were free. Um, but anyway, that's all I have for you today. I hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to come back in a couple of days and check out my library haul. I hope I am making progress on those, but I'll see you again next time. Bye!